let the peace, love, and blessings of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. Man's greatest solution. Everlasting gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, leader Olumba, Olumba, Obu, the supernatural teacher. First lesson, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Second lesson, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 11 to 12. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man, which is in man? Even so, the things of God knoweth no man, but the spirit of God. Now, we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given up to us of God. Golden text, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17. Now, the Lord is that spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Introductory spiritual choruses. Lord, forgive us. For we know not what we have done. Father, please help us. The whole world is pitiable. Obedience is the spiritual weapon. Fight and he shall overcome. Quote, only God's injunction and be Obey God's injunctions and be problem free. Beloved brethren, the problem with mankind is disobedience. The Father at this last dispensation has personally come, sending no one. He has brought to us love, peace, goodness and all godly virtues. He has instructed us to repent of our evil deeds, causing division, fornication, adultery, hatred, quarreling, fighting, stealing, killing, falsehood, and all manners of vice. Yet, we have refused to listen to His divine instruction. This indeed is the real cause of our suffering. Therefore, if we need peace for our soul, and solution to our prevailing problem, we must of necessity draw nearer to God and endeavor to refrain completely from all sinful acts. Our Father has come in His full power and authority to establish His kingdom here on earth. The kingdom has no room for evildoers. Therefore, if you are still indulging in sin, you will not be admitted in. Brethren, God's love is sufficient to all and by His grace we are sustained. It is therefore out of ignorance that in spite of His boundless grace towards you, you are still indulging in concoctions as a way of protecting yourself. But in spite of His impartial love, it will serve a good purpose if you know that the love of God is sufficient only to them that obey Him. World's weak structure program accomplished. The era of the Holy Spirit gives no room for war, anger, insubordination, division, malice, stalemate and all forms of unruly behavior. I have since warned that the entire world system should be reconstructed such that there will be no provision for 
for critical utopia and coercion. With this arrangement, only peace and love will reign supreme in the entire world. Every person is now called upon to refrain from sin and live a righteous life. The fornicators, the adulterers, the idolaters, the murderers, liars, the coveters, the warmongers, the drunkards, and other evil practitioners are warned about the danger impending for them that continue to commit sin. A sincere thanks to the Father who has showered to the entire world his transparent love and the power of the Holy Spirit that shall prompt mankind to practice only righteousness. With this aid in train and immense transposition, should all they that are members of secret societies resist the gesture of the Father and thereby hesitate to resign their membership, they will all die. Those engaging in diabology and all forms of evil practices should confess their sins and forsake their evil deeds, else they will all die. This is so because the spirit in, a, in our midst detests evil but delights in righteousness. This indicates that the Holy Spirit does not condone sin of any kind. Be not consoled with vain thoughts. This is the time of judgment. Therefore know that whatever you sow, the same must you reap. It is in your best interest that you have to refrain from all manner of sin if you must have everlasting life. Do not boast in doing good. Rather, stay away from sin if you must enjoy the love of God. Many of you console yourselves that heaven helps those who help themselves. Hence, you engage in diabology as, as, a, as a means of helping yourself. What do you mean by such statement? Can you help yourself? The fact remains that none can help himself except God helps him. This confirms the scriptural nomination which says that for whosoever will save his life shall lose it but whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospel the same shall save it for what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul and mark chapter 8 Verses 35 to 36. Therefore, they that would continue in this very slogan that says, God help those that help themselves, will not be exempted from, condemn from condemnation. Seek God's help, not man's. Man is in a pitiable condition. This is so because he feels he is single-handedly because he feels that he single-handedly can accomplish much more without God's assistance. Know that we are saved by grace. As such, we have to reciprocate God's love by being compassionate to all at all times. If hitherto you had made yourself a God, invite the children of God to gather those things together and burn them with fire. If not, you are bound to perish with your gods. Brethren, do not look for help from any man. 
any medical doctor, native doctor, from leaves, bark, from trees, grass, and so forth. Rather seek for help from God, for God alone can rescue man from all problems and cure all of their infirmities. Aside, God, mankind has no other source of health. A divine message of reciprocity. The problem facing man today is as a result of the fact that man has refused to believe and have faith in the existence of the Holy Spirit. If you have faith in God, you will not commit sin. You instead would realize that this is the time for us to reciprocate God's love for us by working commensurably unto His glory for having been liberated from the bondage of Satan into eternal life. This message is not restricted to a particular tribe or race. It is universal message to all the creations of God throughout all planes of manifest. Be not afraid of any other thing than God, for, the, for He alone has eternal life to give. Start now to practice the gospels of humility, meekness, forgiveness, and all other virtues to be charitable to the less opportune. God teaches us love that we must uphold and reciprocate same to others at all times. Examine the first lesson. First lesson, 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Emulate the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Brethren, have you now realized the manner of spirit in our midst today? He is truthful and faithful. He teaches and practically demonstrates the truth for us to emulate. His leadership by example is clear indication to all and sundry of the fact that He is the creator of all creation. Let the second lesson be read again. Second lesson, 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 11 to 12. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man, which is in man? Even so, the things of God knoweth no man, but the spirit of God. Now, we have received not the spirit of the world, but the Spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. God's reign restores human wants. Beloved brethren, are you aware of the fact that the long existence, that the long existing division in the world have come to an end? Now, love is the new order of the day. This accounts for why we should all see ourselves as one. Let us all rise up to the challenge of serving and glorifying God for His boundless love towards us. Above all, we have every reason to be glad because this is the time of the reign of the Holy Spirit. We should be bold without fear of any elementary spirit, but happily going about the work of God until eternity. Spiritual Chorus I am walking boldly, doing what the Lord 
had instructed, Brethren, we have now been made to live above all elementary spirits. The Father has liberated us and has bestowed on us the power of the Holy Spirit, which surpasses all other powers in the world. Now, we have no need to help. Now, we have no need of help from any other source because our Father has in stock all the good things that make our life worth living. Above all, He has declared to us the right of sonship, His kingdom, the right of sonship in His kingdom. He has also changed our vile body unto immortality. Get fortified. All they that have faith in the Holy Spirit cannot suffer any lack. This is so because they have been liberated in spirit and in truth. Everyone is now free to go about serving God in any dimension without any fear of molestation. You are fortified and made strong such that any principality dreads you. Spiritual Chorus The love that Jesus has for me is such that no man can comprehend. Brethren, it is true that no one can by mere word of mouth testify the extent of love God has for his children. His boundless love has made us citizens in his kingdom. When you are imbued with the Holy Spirit of God, you are totally free from the chains of sin. God has made the kingdoms of this world to become the kingdom of Jehovah God and his Christ, and he shall reign therein forever. Amen. It behoves us all to tell the world that the long-expected kingdom of God is now here on earth. Tell them to refrain from sin. Come and worship him. Brethren, you can now distinguish this kingdom of God from other churches in the world. The teachings of the Holy Spirit are life-giving. Let the golden text be read. Golden text, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17. Now, the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Make a shelter under unique order. Have you not felt the impact of this freedom? This shows that the Spirit of God is here on earth. Though the conventional churches of the world lay claim that they have the Spirit, but the truth remains that they lack the Holy Spirit of God. And where the Spirit of God is, there is liberty. The question now is, is there any liberty in the entire world? This kingdom is devoid of division. Only oneness reigns supreme. Brethren, the leaders of this world do not believe in God. They live a life full of fear and lack self-confidence. That is why they engage in diabology for protection against their opponents. For this reason, they always meet with failure. Nevertheless, if they should resolve now to shelter under the impetus of the Holy Spirit, they will not have any problems because the power of the Holy Spirit is the all-conquering force. He is the author of, he is the author and accomplisher of all faith. And whosoever has faith in the Holy Spirit cannot fail nor regret whatever action he has taken. Once you obey the injunctions of the Holy Spirit, you are sin free. You are therefore advised to stay clear from carnality and seek after the Holy Spirit. You may witness good days in life. It is an indisputable fact that 
The moment you are endowed with the Holy Spirit, the power of authority over all things will be given to you. It will therefore not be worth living because without the power of the, of the Holy Spirit, you are definitely declared void and empty. Therefore, it is wrong for you to continue in evil practices if you truly belong to this kingdom. The Holy Spirit, the best bet. Beloved brethren, the primary gift to seek for is the Holy Spirit. This will lead you to overcome the world and its lust. The Holy Spirit is the only being to guide you into such knowledge of truth that would enable you to have eternal life. I believe your eyes are now widely opened to perceive the problems faced by the one who lacks the Holy Spirit. Brethren, it is said that a stroke of the cane is sufficient for the wise. Let those who have ears hear. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.